Call of Duty Black Ops 3 has some of the coolest, most interesting maps I've ever seen in Call of Duty before. Not just because they're well designed, but on top of that, these small little details they add into every single map make them just so interesting to look at. Whether they're easter eggs or not, you have to admit, these maps are very thoroughly detailed. Now, one thing you may not know about Call of Duty multiplayer maps is that, generally speaking, they're designed after Call of Duty single-player campaign missions. Now, this is the same for Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and if you haven't played the campaign, you may not know that. However, out of all of the maps we've seen in Black Ops 3, there is one that really stands out in my mind for a couple of reasons. The map is Infection, and the first reason why I find this one so damn interesting is because it's the only multiplayer map that's not based on a single player mission. And what I mean by this is all the others are based on a mission that takes place in real life. And you may be saying, well, this one is too, but it's not. It's actually based on an area in a memory. Yes, Sarah Hall, one of the main characters in the campaign, this multiplayer map actually takes place within the mission Demon Within, where you actually interact with Sarah Hall's direct neural inter interface, or DNI, which you'll hear me talk about several times throughout this, and she, you interact with it and all of a sudden you are in her head. That is right, this map takes place in Sarah Hall's memory. Now the second thing that I find incredibly, incredibly interesting about this map is that almost every single easter egg people have found on this map directly relates to Call of Duty zombies. Not just zombies in Black Ops 3, but also zombies in previous Black Ops games. Now these easter eggs include two photos from the boxing gym in Shadows of Evil, Floyd Campbell's boxing gloves who is one of the main characters in Shadows of Evil, a fumigator, the origins gramophone, a map of Darice, a Darice sign, Samantha Maxis's dress, and finally, and most importantly, the house that belongs to Samantha Maxis, or her father, Dr. Maxis. Now, real quickly, in case you don't know the backstory behind this, Samantha Maxis is Dr. Ludwig Maxis's daughter. Now, this house right there belongs to them. How do we know this? Well, there's actually a couple of reasons. At the end of the Origins zombie map, there is actually an Easter egg that shows the inside of this house, with Samantha Maxis being inside there. And guess what? If we look right there, we can actually see the exact same grandma phone we saw on the map infection earlier. Also, on top of this, we can also see it in a note put together throughout smaller notes found in the Shadows of Evil zombie map. So, if you don't believe me, just look at this picture, compare it to what you're seeing on the infection map. Now, this actually isn't the monstrous easter egg I've been talking to you about for weeks now. We have to actually look much much deeper than this. The easter egg we're going to look at here actually ties in single player campaign Call of Duty Zombies and the multiplayer all into one to create one giant theory I have on the Black Ops 3 Zombies. So if you don't know, this infection map, like I said, takes place in Sarah Hall's mind. But what is it of? For us to understand what this map is actually of, we actually have to go ahead and look at the mission from campaign. Now in this mission, you go into Sarah Hall's DNI, or as I said before, direct neural interface. Now through doing this, you actually get put in the middle of a World War II battle called the Siege of Bastion. Now this takes place in Belgium. Now that's actually where the map infection actually is. It is in Sarah Hall's mind. However, Sarah Hall's mind is taking place in Belgium at the Battle of Bastion. Now the question is, you're in Sarah Hall's mind, someone who wasn't alive during World War II. How is it possible that being in her mind brings both of you back to World War II if she was never alive during that period? For that, we have to understand the overall arcing story for the main campaign in single player. What basically happens is all of these soldiers have this direct neural interface which acts directly with their memories and brain. There is now an infection that is taking place in everyone's direct neural interface and it travels between people through going from direct neural interface to direct neural interface. So without going too in-depth into the Black Ops 3 story, what happens to Sarah Hall is her DNI actually gets infected, infected by this virus that is kind of like the overlying bad guy in the Black Ops 3 main campaign. 
Now, this infection was given to her during the mission Hypocenter, where they go and investigate a coalescence laboratory. This laboratory is where the Black Project was taking place, which was an effort to link together everyone's direct neural interface, which this allows two things. First of all, the spread of the overarching virus that happens to Sarah Hall, and also the linkage of memories between test subjects of this project. Now this laboratory we're talking about here was actually full of element 115 that they were also using for this experiment. And we're going to get to the zombies implication coming up right now. So Sarah Hall's memory of this battle of Bastion was put into her head through her direct neural interface through this virus. But on top of that, she also did a project in it in the military. That's how she recognized it as soon as she was there. So how is this connected to zombies? Later in this mission, we go into a very, very special house. This house right here is rumored to be Nikolai's house. Why is this important? Well, first of all, how do we know this? This is Nikolai's house because we actually saw it in a trailer featuring Nikolai to get people hyped for an upcoming zombies map. Now, in this trailer, you see him sitting in this house, and there's actually several props in the exact locations that they are found in this house, including the piano, including the gramophone, including several shelvings and pictures featured in both this house and the photo. As I showed you there on the screen, they're literally in the exact same places as they are seen in the campaign of this game. So why is this important? Well, now we know the location of Nikolai's house. We know it's in Belgium near the Battle of Bastion. So that's incredibly important, but I don't think you quite realize what this implies. Remember, we are not actually at the Battle of Bastion. We are not actually in Belgium. We are in Sarah Hall's mind. So Sarah Hall has a memory of being in Nikolai's house. Now, of course, that memory is not her own, but what this means is that someone who is in Nikolai's house was involved with the Black Project and therefore has a direct link to coalescence. So what does this mean? This is where we stop taking evidence and start creating theories. There's so many questions we can ask based off this. Well, was it someone who was in group 935 that was related with Coalescence? Is Coalescence a newer group founded from the members of 935? Are They are using element 115, so where does this take us? And the answer is, I don't know. This is just something I figured out right now and wanted to share with you guys. Where this goes, I simply don't know. Now, what I can tell you is using the map Infection we can learn one thing that's more important than anything we've talked about. Whoever Sarah Hall got this memory from doesn't only have a memory of Nikolai's house. Because remember, the map infection is based off of Sarah Hall's memory. And in this memory, we also saw Samantha Maxis's house. The house that was in the Easter egg for the origin zombie map. So that means whoever was involved with the Black Project, with Coalescence, was also somehow involved and has memory of not only Nikolai's house, but also Samantha Maxis, probably Ludwig Maxis. That's why on the map Infection, which takes place in Belgium, which is nowhere near Doris, there is not only a map of Doris, but also a sign of Doris. It all ties together, guys. So... I hope I explained it properly. This is the big Easter egg I've been putting together for weeks. Please let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Let me know if you could fully understand what I was talking about. It literally involved multiplayer, single player, and zombies. So if you weren't totally familiar with the lore, I might have left a little too much out. But let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Do you think I was digging too far? Or do you think I found something really, really cool? I think I explained it all properly. I really hope I did. This video took me so much work, so it would be awesome if you could leave a like rating. Let's see if we can get this video over 5,000 likes. That's the biggest like goal I've ever asked for, but this video took the most effort out of any video I created before. So if you could leave a like rating, it would be really, really greatly appreciated. I would really appreciate it. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I upload new Call of Duty videos every single day of the week. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, peace out. We are, we are reaching for the stars, but we're